Hey, what's up guys? I'm Perry Torn and welcome back to Hearts of Arm 4 as we are playing as Germany. So last episode we knocked out the uh, Civil War, got that wrapped up, and now we're moving towards a democratic government. Currently at 31% here, uh, fascists at 20%, not a line, 30%. Working on that re-establishing of free elections, which will help tick up that democratic support by a lot more. Now we need to begin preparing for the future conflicts. And uh, I would really like to get the, the ships training up here. Uh, I got them all moving into two separate task force, one for the submarines and one for all the other ships, which will you know separate those all a bit later. Uh, but the problem is, is that we don't have any fuel. Uh, so we're gonna need to trade for some if we want to, uh, to make this happen. So let's go ahead and trade with, I don't want to trade with a future enemy. Also don't really want to use the convoys here either. So let's go ahead and trade with the Dutch for two factories worth. Or you know what, we can do a full three factories worth because I think we're going to need it. Yeah, uh, that's not even going to be enough, honestly. So we'll go ahead and trade with the, the Romanians as well. They have plenty of fuel for us. So we'll trade five factories off and then see how that looks. Uh, we're going to wait till all the fleets get into two task force. There we go. And then we're going to go and get these training up. And we would want to put them on to the automatic split off so that one ship doesn't stop the whole free, uh, fleet from training. And we're not going to train any of the larger capital ships, which we just really have the, the two battleships and the three heavy cruisers. We're not going to train any of those once they have the experience, so we'll just put them into a separate task force here. Uh, we'll get them up to the regular experience level and then stop training them since they just take so much fuel. And we're going to keep them training, you know, indefinitely here, uh, not just up to the next level so that we can try and get some experience. We'll do the same thing here with the submarines. Get those trained up, see how that affects the fuel. It's probably going to affect it by quite a bit, but we're still in the positive. Uh, so we could probably trade for one less fuel. We'll let, go ahead and let that get up a little bit higher before we stop it, though. Yeah, so let those train up, get us some Navy experience. Just got the dispersed industry. I'm not really close enough to 1937 to work on those techs yet. I feel like we should really start working on any ship techs that we want so that when we finish up with those ships that started out building and we want to build our own designs, that we'll be able to actually make some adjustments to those designs. So we don't need the passive bonuses right now, we need the equipment. So sonar and depth charges would be two things we need here. Airplane catapult would be another thing to get. The uh, armor for the battleships would be uh, a good addition. We could also start working on the uh, the carrier techs because we don't have those yet. And I think that's it. And I think that's it that is equipment wise. So yeah, there's quite a few things to get. We'll just start with the airplane catapults. Doesn't really matter, let's get them all here eventually. And we also got the construction, so let's go to go for excavation next. Uh, 78 days to get that. Now we do have the 250 Pluto power to get our theorist, von Manstein, uh, but I don't think we're gonna get him. Somebody suggested that maybe we should go for Guderian, and I agree. Uh, while he's not the mobile warfare expert, so therefore we're gonna lose 5% research bonus here. So it goes from 15% uh, to 10%. Uh, Army experience is exactly the same you'll see that he, Heinz, has the increase for max speed, which makes sense since his nickname was, you know, Fast Heinz. And so, or in German, of course. Uh, but yeah, it makes sense he'd have a max speed bonus. And y'all know I love uh, max speed for, for the units, particularly for the tanks. And 10% is a very significant bonus. That's incredibly helpful. I think it's worth giving up the 5% bonus to the doctrines, honestly. So yeah, we're definitely gonna go for him. Plus, it saves some little power too. Uh, it's not as expensive. That's only the, the 150. Yeah, I think it's worth it, guys. And uh, we'll be able to start going through those doctrines a little bit faster, but most importantly, the tanks are gonna be faster. So, we got, all right, so this is with the Hungarians. Uh, we got our national focus completed. I wanted to take a look at those ships uh, as soon as we're done here, make sure that we're not training up any of those battleships or whatever more than we, we need to. So we cannot do the monarchy compromise yet until we have 40% support in our government. Uh, so I think we're pretty close to getting that, uh, but yeah, not quite. Let's just take a look, see where we're at, 31%. So not quite there yet before we can move down to the reverse of the brain drain, which is definitely gonna be the, the route we wanna go with first since that gives us a fifth research slot. Now, one of the interesting things about the Germans when they go down their democratic branch is that they get an extra research slot. Uh, so most countries only get five. Uh, the United States has six. 
I don't know if there's any other countries that get six besides Germany when they go down that democratic branch because here's their, their fifth slot that you'd get normally going this way. So this is an additional one. So this will get you six slots. Uh, so definitely want to get that as soon as we can, uh, but that's not an option just yet. Could do the rebuild the nation and that would result in us having more civilian factories for, for use and also we can repair faster. Uh, which, you know, we have all those damaged factories. So I suppose that's pretty helpful. But since it's 70 days, the factory repair speed is going to be useless because we'll probably be done repairing. You see, we're, we're trying to get these factories here repaired now. Uh, and then we'll, we'll start building some stuff. And I really felt like getting all the civilian and military factories repaired uh, would be worth it, uh, spending the civilian factories on that. But yeah, that does result in this here uh, because, I mean, you had to go, I guess you had to go down this route first. Yeah, you had to get these two in order to get this one, so I don't know why they would think you'd still need to repair at this point. Uh, so that one's not very beneficial, but you do get the reduction of consumer good factories, uh, so that's helpful. And then you can kind of continue all along, on along here, getting some population bonuses and training time reduction. I mean, there, there's some good stuff here. Uh, but we're not going to go that route uh, just yet. I think we're going to get this one right here, Naval Rearmament, uh, to get the three dockyards. Since ships do take so long to build, it would be useful to get those a little bit earlier and before the air and army innovations. Uh, just looking to see what other options we have available before we select that. Yeah, I think that's one we're going to go for, guys. I think it makes the most sense to go to grab this. Uh, the tech after this, which I don't know, we'll go for this one. This one does give us dockyards as well and some naval experience and some research bonuses. I don't know if we'll go with that one, but this one's also 35 days. Let me see, are there any other 35 day ones? No. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go and get this. 35 days. So knock that out. Get ourselves some more dockyards and relatively quickly as well. Still working on finishing up those ships. And looks like the Civil War in Spain has begun. And I kind of don't want to play a role in it, guys. Because we sent Spain to go communist. And like, what are we going to do? Help the, the nationalists out? Uh, you know, and, and then if, if we help them, then they'll win. Whatever side we help is going to win. So are we going to help the, uh, uh, you know, Republican Spain out? Uh, you know, I don't really think that makes a whole lot of sense. But what we could do is send an attache to either one of these just to get a bit of army experience. And I think that would be beneficial. I guess the question is, which one do we want to send the attache to? Because I feel like we should be helping out national Spain. But yeah, we don't want to send them troops. So sending them attache, I think, would be worth it. Just to get a little bit of army experience, guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh, they won't accept it. Psh, okay, that would be a waste. Uh, I don't think it, it takes it from you unless they accept, though. Uh, but yeah, they wouldn't accept it. I wonder if anybody would. They would. The Nationalists would. Okay, uh, so we'll just send it off to them, I suppose. Because, yeah, I would really like to get the, the army experience. Uh, let's go ahead and get these fleets checked to see if there's... There's not. All right, so yeah, they did it, uh, decline, which doesn't really have any any consequence here. Uh, let's go ahead and send it off to them. Again, we're just looking to get the uh, the army experience, 20% like of that army experience. This is where we can make the adjustments to our division designs sooner rather than, than later, because we do have a lot of adjustments to make. Uh, most of our division designs do not yet have their support companies. Uh, that'll increase that research speed, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, let's see what we want to get next. I kind of feel like putting two focuses on the uh, the Navy, the Naval Techs. Yeah, I think that might be what we're going to go for here, guys. And we're not in 1937 yet. Now, we do need the support companies, of course, so that needs to be gotten. Uh, but I think we're going to work on the Naval Techs so that we're able to build these once we uh, are finished with the, the Dockyard's current jobs. So let's get the, let's get the armor here. It'll be 98 days. To knock that out. Yeah, we'll have two techs for right now going towards the naval techs. Now, uh, two tech slots, I should say. So, yeah, we should be getting a nice little chunk of army experience from uh, National Spain. You know, we get that 20%. So, that should help this increase by a lot more. Uh, we are giving them some of our command power, though, of course. Now, we don't want the Nationalists to win here. That would be, yeah, I'd kind of mess up what, what I had set up here. So, hopefully, they don't win. Because I think uh, France would be in trouble in that case. In Portugal, you know, we have them going communist, so they would quickly be defeated. 
uh, by the Spanish, and then France having to face an invasion from both Italy and Spain, they would be defeated, and then our big old powerful communist faction that we built uh, and designed for the, uh, you know, for the uh, campaign would would uh, not exist. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one, guys. Let's get more dockyards, and it's only 35 days as well. So you're getting basically uh, two two focuses in the same time that it would take to get to normally get uh, one focus. So these guys are ready to deploy. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a, a training army. Uh, but we'll deploy these guys first, and we'll just set them up in in the capital, and get. I suppose we'll get all of them uh, deploying. But let's go and build one more unit here so we don't lose this. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and set up a training army, and make them green peasants here. Get them uh, first. We need to give them a area defense. And I guess it doesn't matter, we'll have this set up as is. Just gotta give them an order so that we can assign them. And then we're gonna make sure that all of our units deploy to this train army as soon as they're ready. And yeah, we can go ahead and add a few more infantry divisions. Our army is is uh, at least a lot to be desired, guys. Uh, it's pretty small and pathetic, honestly. Uh, but I am also hesitant to get too many units because I wanna switch over to 40 width. Uh, so that's something to consider as well. So we'll do like five more, I think. Uh, we At the very least, we wanna get these armies up to a decent size here. And we can also go ahead and change up the mountain troops, give them, we're gonna try and get them up to 20. Do we have the experience? We don't. We have enough to get them up to 18, so let's go to do that. All right, fantastic. Let's let these guys train up here and then we'll put them into these, uh, these armies on the borders because we don't even have enough troops to defend our, our borders currently, as you can see. Uh, that's how few divisions we currently have. Uh, we did get those airplane catapults, fantastic. Uh, let's go to go after the sonar next. Then we'll do the uh, depth charges. And then we'll have all the tech that's available to us right now. Uh, we did finish repairing all those factories. I didn't actually want to use our civilian factories to repair the infrastructure, but it is what it is. Uh, I didn't pay attention to it. So let's go and get some military factories built. I'm also tempted to spend some time getting some dockyards. Uh, but we'll do the factories first. Yeah, I think that's probably the, the better way to go. I could also try and help solve our rubber issues uh, by getting some some refineries. Let's get a few military factories. We're gonna build them in the best locations, which would be these 80% ones. Yeah, we'll get three military factories for now. And then maybe more civilian factories, because you see we don't have much here. But we'll do the military factories first, because I'm trying to get the equipment built up. The equipment situation is not quite where I want it here. Especially with the the tanks and the the planes. Uh, so we got the excavation excellent, and we are close enough to 1937 to start working on the 1937 tax. So let's go after the dispersed industry too. We'll get that in 78 days here. Uh, so these guys were not set to train, so let's go ahead and do that. And we got the naval effort excellent. Although we don't really need a train army since we have all of our armies currently training. Could get another four dockyards, but that is a 70 day tech. And we don't want to focus too much on the Navy. You know, obviously we're not going to be able to like contend against the combined fleets of the Japanese, British, and the Italians on our own. We're going to have to rely pretty heavily on our naval bombers. And so we, we do need to get air and, you know, air innovations and all the techs from that. And then most importantly, you know, we, we can't neglect the army innovations because that's what's going to win the war, not the fleet. Let's cook at this so that we can, you know, build a little bit faster. 70 days and I think that's probably the only one I mean civilian factory I guess would be helpful however you only get this for 365 days so if you get this one then you need to go for a new and better Germany like right after it actually you would want to go for all three of these so these are 35 day ones so essentially you need to spend a whole 140 days on it get these all back to back to back and let's see how far away until we're at 33 percent so it would be a good time to get those I suppose we also want to get the army innovation zone. I think that would be wise. So let's let's go ahead and knock those those three out real quick. The rebuilding the nation. I think that would be be wise. So yeah, we're going to get the, all three of those, and then by then hopefully we'll have our uh, democratic support high enough. Uh, so we have some dockyards available. So it's going to get these assigned to finish up the current ships, but we have uh, quite a few available. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start designing some ships. 
And I always like to start with the the battleships since they or the heavier ships, I should say, since they take so long. And we have the 1936 model here. Let's just go ahead and say we don't need to see any of those. And then we're gonna make adjustments to it because I'm sure it's cruddy. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep the heavy battery there. Let's get the, the better anti-air on there. Uh, fire control one is absolutely fine. Uh, we don't have the radar yet, unfortunately. Uh, we do need to get the radar tech. Yeah, I didn't really consider that fact. So yeah, we wanna get the radar tech, we'll just have to, to update these. Let's go and get that secondary battery too and the new, oops, that's battlecruiser armor. Do we not have the armor yet? Let me just take a look here. Uh, 39 days. Okay, well I wanna wait to get that. So what we'll do is just pump these dockyards into this destroyer here and then we'll see if we, we have that yet. It's only 39 days, so we might very well have it by that point. So we'll just focus on getting that destroyer finished up. Uh, we'll also want to take any new ships that we just got and put them into this training fleet here and check to see if these, which they are, the battleships and the heavy cruiser are done. So let's move them out. That'll save us a lot of fuel. And we could probably trade for less fuel, but before we, we do that, let's make sure we get our planes in the air uh, because I would like to get all these guys training up here. Uh, so these are the most modern of the, the tactical bombers. We're building tactical bombers as well. Let's see what we got over here. All right, so let's go and increase these up to 50. Increase them up to 100. And then we'll just keep all the rest of these as is and then just get them training up for right now. And then same thing over here, just kind of increase their numbers a bit. I don't know how many we actually have in the stockpile, but it's fine. Those kind of slowly replace themselves or uh, fill in those numbers as we get them. Yeah, it does look like we're lacking on the, the tactical bombers a bit. Those do take longer to build. And yeah, just get us some air experience, get those planes trained up. Uh, so with the remaining dockyards, we could just build up our convoys for now because I don't think we're we're close enough here yet. Yeah, 15 more days. I want to at least get the armor. We can go without the, uh, the radar, uh, but I don't want to go without the armor. Uh, so let's just put them into the convoys for now. Just get a bunch of convoys built up. Also, apparently we have some military factories, probably one we just finished building. So let's go and see where we want to put this. Let's see where we're most short. Uh, you know we're going to need light tanks, so might as well I'll put a couple factories into that. Uh, as far as resources go, I don't think we're lacking enough of anything to, to warrant trading. Yeah, I think we're fine. And these guys, as I said, they could go onto the front since we have the fronts currently training for the experience. So there's really no reason why they have to be in a training army. So yeah, we could go ahead and take them and, and move them over to the front line if we wanted to. Uh, we got the inclined belt armor scheme. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and design those battleships. The only tech left to get equipment wise until 1940 is going to be these depth charge throwers. So we're going to go and grab that. And then there's also the carriers. So we can get those as well. If we're going to have a carrier fleet, uh, we won't use the experience. No, we're not going to use the experience here. We're just going to research that. All right. So now we can go ahead and design our new battleships. Uh, I should have shaved what I had changed so that, you know, we wouldn't have wasted that time there. Uh, yeah, we don't have the, the radar yet. So we got the engines in there. Let's get the secondary battery and then we want the, uh, the battleship armor, uh, the new armor that we just got. Now, as far as what we're going to do here, uh, we do want one extra heavy battery on there. Uh, we'll also want to get the secondary battery. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, we're going to get the secondary battery there. All right, so this is going to be our first battleship design here. I put a lot of anti-air in there so that the, feet, the speed isn't too bad. You, you change out one of those anti-air for another big gun and then you're down to like 25 kilometers. Uh, so we'll go with a lot of anti-air. I think it's going to be useful for the areas that we're going to be fighting in. We're going to have to fight those, those British, uh, the British Air Force, which is going to probably try and bomb our ships pretty heavily. Uh, so I think having a higher anti-air will be helpful. Probably more so than the heavy attack will. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and save this. As far as the name goes, we need a, a name suggestion. Uh, with all the ships in all my series, what I do is any of the submarines or the escort, you know, screen classes, destroyers, light cruisers, and such. Uh, with those ones, we name them based on function, since we typically have multiple different types of designs there. Uh, so I can easily look at them and see what they're meant to do and uh, assign them to the different task force. Uh, but with the larger ships, the, the battleships, the heavy cruisers, battle cruisers, uh, carriers, 
Uh, with those, we get unique names that are suggested by you in the comments. So our first battleship here needs a name, and uh, we still have plenty of time. It takes a long time to build them. Uh, so we'll name them, maybe not next episode, but the episode after that, based on your guys' suggestions. Uh, so yeah, a battleship name here. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, preferably names of, of battleships that weren't actually around at this time, so we don't get it confused. Because uh, you, you'll notice that we already have, you know, we have quite a few... Uh, not quite a few, but we have a few battleships that already have names. And remember, we're not naming the individual ship. We're naming the ship class. So a lot of people uh, get confused by that and think that we are trying to name each individual ship, but that is not the case. Just want to name the class. All right, so that looks good. We just need to pull back on the convoys uh, and, and go into that. I guess we'll need more than this because we're not quite ready for building any of the, uh, the escorts yet. Uh, now, we will need some chromium, and we will trade with uh, Yugoslavia for that. All right, excellent. So let me just see if there's anything else that's done. Yeah, we have a destroyer here. Let's go and throw them into the, the training task force. And as of right now, we just have one large ship training here, the heavy cruiser uh, that we just finished building. So we're going to want to get that taken out as soon as he's done. Uh, we do have the ability to modify our government. And I already know what I want to do here, and I know that this uh, everybody's not going to agree uh, with this with this decision here, guys. Uh, but I feel like uh, for what I'm trying to do with this campaign, I think it'd be really, really good to go off of limited exports for a time uh, and go over to export focus, not all the way to free trade. I think that would be a little bit much, and uh, result in us having a lot of resource issues. But I want to go to export focus primarily for the research speed bonus. Uh, that's an extra 4%, guys. Uh, so that's really helpful. But it also gives factory and dockyard output. So it doubles it. Uh, construction speed's doubled as well. And how much does it actually affect our resource situation, guys? You'll notice that all the resources we actually have something of, uh, aluminum and, and steel particularly, we're not short on those right now. Uh, the stuff we're short on is stuff we don't have anyways. Uh, so it doesn't really matter uh, that we're going to uh, change this up, at least not right now. So I think it's going to be worth it. I know it's spending 150 for a little hour that could be used other uh, other places, but if you're going to get a research bonus, you want to get it as soon as possible. Uh, and I'm really trying to have us be kind of a, a tech power here uh, because we're trying to focus on all three branches and whenever you do that, you know, when you're trying to, to research the, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Army all at the same time, it just results in you kind of lagging behind. Uh, until the the mid or late game, so it would be best if we can try and keep up to uh, keep up on pace in all of these, and therefore I think having the extra uh, four percent research bonus would be really really helpful for that effort. Uh, so what did we just get? Let me just take a look here. We have a naval tech. I think we just got a naval tech. Uh, I think it was the active active owner. So we're just getting the depth charge throwers now. We'll keep one tech uh, here at all times, working on like passive bonuses next. Uh, but we'll use that one as soon as the depth charge, uh, de depth charge thrower is done. Uh, so for right now, let's see what we need. I guess we could just focus on getting the industrial text, but I think we're going to do the radio here. Yeah, let's go to get the radar radio so that we can get the radar with the next tech. As soon as we finish that up. So yeah, I'll just keep these guys training up here and then we'll throw them into these armies here. So we have some troops on the border. Not that anybody's going to attack us right now. Uh, we got to rebuild the nations. Remember, we have to go down uh, these two now, since you only get that, uh, you know, that national focus or national spirit, excuse me, uh, for 365 days. So I think the most useful one to get would be this one here, since we are actually working on civilian factories at this very moment. Uh, we did get the dispersed industry too. Excellent. Let's going to go after the construction two next. So we can build a little bit faster. Try and get all this stuff constructed as quickly as we can. And these guys here are almost done training. There we go. We'll just start popping them into these armies now as they finish up. Again, it doesn't really matter because they're going to keep on training when they get there since we need the army experience. We actually have enough army experience to make a few adjustments here. And it looks like we just finished a bunch of uh, troops as well. Training up. I think we needed... I think that's probably enough uh, for over here. Just have one unit in each each province. Uh, we do have a military factory. Uh, let's go ahead and place this into, let me see what's really short on. Uh, artillery, uh, we have six going towards that, so let's put it into the, the light tanks. So let's go ahead and 
change up some of our division designs. You'll notice that we do have one unique name here based on your guys' suggestions. I think this is like Mountaineers in German or something like that. Uh, so we'll uh, need the, the rest of the division designs named. I don't know that we'll use motorized. Probably not. We're probably going to focus mostly on armored divisions. So we'll have like light, light tanks, medium tanks, so on. Uh, I don't know that we'll have the, that we'll use motorized. Because the light tanks can get just as fast as motorized when you have those upgrades, which we'll have, that'll increase the speed. And they'll be just as fast as motorized division, so why even use a motorized division? Uh, just use the, the light tanks. See, I don't think we'll use this one. Uh, but yeah, we do need a name for light tanks, infantry, and, you know, the, the cab division, even if we're only going to be using them for uh, uh, garrisons. So let's go and make some adjustments here, guys. We still have one more battalion to add for the Mountaineers. And then we need a ton of stuff here for him. Uh, so let's go and get the, you know, let me see if the, the light tank guys are done yet. Uh, or if we have everything that we can get for him. Still need the light self-propelled artillery. We don't have that yet. Okay. Might just wait. Is it 1939 1940 where that next light tank, uh, light tank tech is? Might be 1940, in which case we would want to get the uh, light self-propelled artillery. Uh, but yeah, we need to get that still. Uh, so nothing really to adjust there. Uh, let's take a look at the infantry. Uh, we could do some anti-air there. I don't even know if we're building that right now, though. Uh, so I think we'll just go and work on the mountain troops. Uh, so we're going to want to get the engineer companies. Uh, we're going to want the support artillery as well. And that's apparently all we can get right now. Okay, so just need a little bit more experience. Yeah, and get, getting uh, pretty good experience from this conflict here. It does look like the nationalists will likely lose that conflict which is again what we want to see happen there uh, so I suppose we can go after the the carriers next yeah I mean if you want to get one before the war starts you'd have to get it now so yeah we're going to start working on that now we don't have that naval tech yet but you know uh, excuse me the uh, uh, the naval ship designer here but we're not going to build that that early model, so I think it's fine. Uh, so we got the new and better Germany. So next, let's get the fan Prussian militarism. That'll decrease the training timing and increase recruitable population. But again, that's only for the, the one year. But, you know, let us get these guys trained up quicker, I suppose. So there's no reason not to get it. Uh, so do we have the 20 with? Do. Uh, so that means we can go and train up some mountain troops. Go to get them placed over here. All right, fantastic. Get some more infantry. Uh, again, just trying to get these numbers up a little bit because we're looking kind of pathetically weak at this point. Uh, black shirts urbanize in the UK. So we're going to slowly start going more and more fascists. They're sitting at 12%. They're going up very, very rapidly here now that they're doing those decisions. Oh, snap. <laughs> so I had forgot all about our operative over here. He was just caught, though. And we don't have anybody to rescue him because we only have one operative. So, yeah, there's no way to... To rescue him, unfortunately. Yeah, I meant to, to do something over there, but uh, we're going to try and help them move towards... Uh, you know, I think we're trying to help them move towards Democratic, but they don't really... That was just, man, I'm not entirely sure what, what I was doing over on that one. There would have been other countries that would have been a little bit better uh, to do that with, like down here in the Balkans, uh, like the Hungarians, trying to help them go a little bit faster. Uh, Bulgaria is not as bad. Uh, Yugoslavia could really use the assistance, though. So we should have been doing it down there instead anyways. All right, well, we won't be able to rescue him, unfortunately. Uh, we need some upgrades. I suppose we could start working on the upgrades, which, by the way, somebody had a name suggestion here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change this up. This is going to be the B and D. And that's an acronym for the Federal Intelligence Service in German. And Spain issues a diplomatic protest. Okay, so they're not happy about us sending the attaches there. You know, I feel like we don't really need them there anymore. We're getting a good amount of army experience here. We've already made a lot of adjustments to our division designs. So yeah, I don't see any reason not to, to recall them. Yeah, because we would get hit with a, a stability reduction due to the amount of democratic support in our country. So yeah, we'll just do this one here. It's a reasonable request, and we'll we'll stop supporting the Nationalists. We don't even really care if they, they win. It's not like we're trying to help them. We're just trying to get a little bit of extra army experience. Uh, we did get the delay. Let's go with the Elastic Defense here. Start working on that now. Uh, we have not yet got the research bonuses for those. I'm not entirely sure how many we have. Uh, we want to make sure we don't, don't lose those. So we have two right there for land doctrines. 
Not seeing any here. Two right there, so that's four. Uh, not seeing any here. Yeah, none there. Yeah, none here either. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we can't even go down this route here. Yeah. It does require, well, it just requires that one. So you might be able to go down this route. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter though, because we're not trying to do the alliance with the USSR, so none of this, none of this matters here. Uh, point is, is that there's four that I see. Four land doctrine bonuses. Okay. So we can keep doing down those army doctrines for some time then. Uh, so we finished up that one. Let me see if we've got the support yet. Uh, to get the monarchy compromised, not quite. Looks like we are just short of it. Could wait a little while to get that. It wouldn't take very long at all. Uh, but I think I'd prefer to get the uh, expand dockyard facilities. Because I think we're going to try and build an, another battleship. Or, or we can start building those carriers. Uh, let me see what other options are available though. See if there's anything that would be a little more beneficial to us right now. We don't really need the, the fortifications. Uh, infrastructure, I guess, is is helpful. Yeah, we don't really need to do these because we already have some decisions for those. Uh, you know, some focuses for those over there on the right. Could do this one, though. That's some nice research bonuses for the excavation. And uh, we can construct military, civilian factories, and dockyards a lot faster. So, you know what? I think we will go with that route. Yeah, I think that's one we're going to get. Those civilian factories would be nice, too. What is that, like six of them? Yeah, that would right. be helpful. We'll be able to build a, a lot quicker. So, let's go and put these guys over here. I think we should have, like, every province and on this front defended yeah all right so the chinese united front has formed remember though that once they're at war and we're at war u.s congress passes an neutrality act so hopefully the u.s will stay out of conflicts for for a while uh but eventually japan will declare war on china and that will result in them going to war now oh, this reminds me of something uh so uh essentially japan will uh you know, attack them, that'll result in them being at war, and then when we go to war, then it will take them out of their, their faction and put them into ours. Uh, so that's how that will go down. And it'll do that for all the countries of the world, so that we'll only have the, the three factions. So with the Hindenburg incident, so we had that one decision, I was wondering what it was about, the sharpened air safety regulations, because it didn't really seem to have any benefit, it just made everything take longer to produce here. So apparently this makes it less likely that the Hindenburg will be destroyed, uh, which in this case, you know, we didn't even do this and it still worked out for us. But in order for you to, you know, when you're going the monarchy route, in order, in order for you to have Victoria become your, uh, your leader, oh, there's a civil war in the UK. In order to have that happen, uh, you, you, uh, you know, can't have that, uh, you have the Hindenburg destroyed. Uh, and a lot of people had complained, you know, because it's based on a completely random incident. Uh, in order for you to even go that route, you just gotta hope that it goes your way. A lot of people complained about that, so they added that decision there so you can actually do something to make it less likely that you'll have the negative uh, outcome of that Hindenburg event. So let's just take a look, because this doesn't look great from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the fascist, hmm, they did not get control very much of the country, did they? Yeah, they have Wales, one one state in all of England. They have Northern Ireland and most of Scotland. Yeah, not even the capital of Scotland. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, because it's more going to be based on what units they got. But yeah, I hope the, uh, the fascists win there. All right, so we have the civilian factories open. I think we're gonna go and continue working on civilian factories, though I am tempted to get one synthetic refinery. It just takes so long to build those. But yeah, here in the early game, let's let's focus on the civilian factories. So we can try and get f uh, three full lines would be the, the goal here, eventually to have three full lines. So we'll build three more, no, four more. We're gonna build four more here, guys. And then after that, we'll work on some more military factories. Let's get a couple more military factories. And then we'll see where we're at at that point. See if we want to do anything there. Uh, we might want to take a look at the resource situation. Yeah, you can see that even after we change our law, we still have, we're good on aluminum, we're good on steel. It's not really a problem. Uh, later in the game, of course, as we get more and more military factories, that become more and more of an issue. Right. So we will want to change out of that. Change our, our trade law up. 
But for right now, I really want that research bonus and the, the factory bonus. Uh, we can stop trading for so much oil. Yeah, we don't need to be trading for all this. Uh, let's go and pull back uh, with the Romanians. In fact, we might be able to stop trading for all these. We'll see. No, can't stop trading for all of them. Alright, so there's an anarchist uprising in Spain, as we just saw that happen there. So they're doing good up here in the north, but they're losing their territory in the south. Yeah, we'll just have to see how that ends up going down. Uh, we can modify our governments, and I think the... Uh, obvious choice should probably be the ship designer since we're working on those carriers and this does have a bonus for carriers uh, so that's the plus 50 percent on the armor and the plus 10 percent hp that is the one we're going to go for could go for this one instead to increase the uh surface uh or excuse me the max speed and decrease the surface visibility so that's pretty helpful for like a raiding fleet as, as it says raiding fleet design we're not going for a raiding fleet in this one. We're going to try and build like a decent fleet. Obviously, it won't be the size of the, the British or the Japanese fleets or anything like that. But uh, try and build like a small, respectable, you know, quality fleet that will have land-based air support. So, yeah, let's go and get this so that those uh, capital ships will stand up to, to punishment a bit longer. And we want them now so that it'll apply to those, those uh, 1936 carrier models, which we're about to get. Uh, so we did just get the radio. Uh, let's go and get the uh, radio detection next. And let's see what we're currently building. So we're still working on this here. Um, I guess we can keep building convoys because we do need them. Do we have everything for the submarine tech? Because we're not building submarines, so we should get those. Yeah, let's go ahead and build uh, some new submarines. Uh, we do have some Navy experience to make use of. So yeah, let's go and get these guys designed. Uh, we already have all that, so let's just go and get the torpedoes here and then should be good to go. And I suppose we could call these U-boats instead. So the number is, you know, that two there is just the the model number. It's 1936 here. And then this is for our variants. And that's how we'll, we'll name them for the rest, of the, the rest of the campaign. But yeah, we won't come up with unique names for any of these. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get some, some, some submarines built. Could be working on that. Uh, we always need submarines. And we'll want to, to pull back a bit on the convoys. We do want some, some more convoys. You know what? I feel like one dockyard uh, towards convoys would probably be enough, honestly. So yeah, we'll have uh, four going towards the submarines right now. I don't think we have everything for the... You know what? Actually, we do. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. We have everything we need uh, to get like the destroyers and, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, let's go and start working on all these. Because we have the, the naval experience, so there's really no reason not to, to work on these. Uh, so yeah, with this one here, let's go ahead and do... I don't know that we're going to do a, a torpedo destroyer. I think we're just going to use uh, the, the destroyers for attacking submarines, and that's about it. And so we won't build like a, a ton of them, just enough to take care of any submarines that we might face. You know, we're not facing the Germans who have the most submarines, so uh, with that in mind, we don't need to have a ton of these. But we, want, we will want some of them. And let's go and get that new sonar. Um, we don't have the radar yet. That's something to consider, but uh, again, I don't think we're going to wait on this. So, And we'll have the, the the torpedoes here, the one torpedoes. But up here, this is all going to be anti-submarine warfare, guys. We're going to get depth charges. That's it. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make sure that they we know what they are. Uh, I like doing the, the crab because uh, I always imagine it's like the, uh, the crab kind of grabbing at the, the submarines or whatever. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of silly. I mean, we're going to do the, the crabs here. Uh, so we also need to give them a name. And again, just name them based on uh, their use. Uh, so in this case, we would call them subhunters. Oops. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so let's go and save that. Uh, so we'll get those guys out there building. And you can really see how we're going to start running out of dockyards here. So we have the subs going. Uh, we have everything for the light cruisers as well. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and get get those going too. Now with the light cruisers, we probably have several different models. Uh, we'll want one focus primarily on uh, attack. So it'll be our attack cruisers. We can go ahead and just say we don't need to see any of these here. And I don't know if it'd be better to, yeah, it'd probably be better to make the basic changes here. Whoops. And we're going to want the uh, the light cruiser battery twos to make the basic changes and then save it. 
And then from there, we'll kind of just utilize that design. And as for here, I don't know if the fire control system is going to be worth it. Yeah, typically it's it's not for the, the cruisers. It doesn't go up high enough. We'll take a look at it and see if it's worth it having that there. Uh, we'll get that secondary battery. You get the cruiser armor. And this is going to be the, uh, the attack cruiser, uh, this first one here. Uh, we can have a couple different models. I'm thinking an, an attack cruiser, like a support cruiser, uh, which might be focused more on AA with some depth charges. Uh, kind of help those destroyers out, attacking submarines. That would very much be like a secondary role, though. And then the last one would be like a torpedo cruiser, uh, which typically can be really helpful. And it would be towards the, the end that we'd get, uh, or that would be the last one we'd get. Uh, I think getting the, the attack cruisers and the support cruisers would be a little bit more important. Uh, we do want something that has the catapults, which I think we'll have that on the support cruisers. Again, they just kind of support the rest of the fleet is what the idea behind that one is. So with this here, let's go ahead and get the rapid fire guns, get those light cruiser batteries. Uh, we don't really want to get, I mean, I guess we could have another torpedo here. Uh, but what we really want is is secondary batteries uh, for attacking, you know, getting the light attack and, and light piercing up and all that kind of good stuff. So I think we're going to do another secondary battery here and then maybe some AA. So they have at least a decent anti-air here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. We got very good light attack here. Uh, is this the ones we want to go with? Let me just see if there's what would change here. We're going to lose some speed. We get a full one point of light attack. I think that would probably be worth it to change one of these up. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing here, guys. Just change one and then leave the secondary battery on there. I mean, I guess you could have looked at it this way, too. Uh, you know, you see that we have the five light attack. They both have the same piercing. So it's really just speed and production that you're considering. So yeah, let's go to get the, uh, the better ones. Just increase that light attack a little bit. Yeah, we'll keep this one here as is just to make sure the production doesn't get too high. Speed doesn't get too low. So I think we're good to go here. Uh, let's go ahead and save this and then probably duplicate it as well. All right, so we got our attack cruisers designed there. Here's our support cruisers. Let's just go ahead and give them, uh, they'll give them the shield, that works out fine. And uh, we just duplicated this here so that we can uh, use the, the experience we already utilized down here and just change up the, the top stuff because I think all this would, would stay the same. I never did take a look to see if we want to change the fire control systems up down there. Uh, we will be changing it here though, over to, to sonar. And yeah, we might not even have experience to do anything with that attack cruisers anyway. Uh, so here, you know, obviously we'll, we'll keep that there. I think that's, although, you know what? We really don't want them for attacking. So maybe we'll just go with the anti-air actually. Yeah, I think we are going to go with the anti-air there because uh, we're going to be kind of short on, on spots here. Uh, so which ones can get the aircraft facilities? Just these, these three. Yeah. These, any of these three can, uh, so let's go to place it. I'll put them right here. Let's get those float planes. Uh, then we're going to want something for attacking submarines so that they have that ability. But again, it's going to be really focused on the anti-air here. So let's go to get the anti-air too. So yeah, won't have very good light attack, uh, but decent anti-air attack and a little bit of depth charges. Just kind of help us out here with uh, different things. Uh, so that'll be our support cruiser. And this might be enough experience to, to change this up. Let me just take a look. Oops, we want to look at this one here and see how much it adjusts it. You're going to lose 1.1 points here. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll we'll just keep keep it as is then. Yeah, we'll keep the the fire control system on there. That's fine. All right. So, let's going to get both of these these building here again. We will not be doing the torpedo cruisers just yet. That'll have to be a bit later. All right. Just go and put I mean, we don't really have a ton of dockyards right now. Uh for use. So, we really need more dockyards essentially, guys. Uh, let's go and get the, what do we have? The attack cruisers, let's go and get the support cruisers out here now. And we're gonna wanna make sure that all of these ships are going into the current port that we're using. Oops. Get all of them going here. All right, beautiful. So let's go and pull from the submarines. I mean, really we don't have, we just do not have very many uh, dockyards right now to, to utilize. All right, so it's kind of a shame that yeah, we don't have anything going to the destroyers. Okay, we'll do it like so for now, but frankly, yeah, we need more dockyards. Uh, so that's definitely gonna be kind of a priority of us. Uh, let's just get a few more. 
we'll stop as soon as we finish building these although we might go for the dockyards before we get the military factories uh, so let's go and build one there and then maybe get a couple here like three more dockyards I think yeah we'll get three more dockyards uh, we also have that focus that will grant us some dockyards too so that'd be helpful. Uh, let's go and take a look, see if this one ship is done training. It does seem that the fascists are winning over here, so they probably had more more divisions that were given to them. Amelia Earhart does disappear, so we won't be seeing her in the conflict. But yeah, it does look like the, the Democrats are, are currently losing. So, does that mean that the... See, what happened with all the Dominions? Did they just not get pulled into it? Let me just see here. Yeah, they're not currently pulled into that conflict. Okay. I don't know if it's, that's because it's a civil war. Uh, but yeah, they're not getting any help from them. So we did finish up the construction. Let's go to get the excavation next. Though we are about to get a research bonus for that. So if we just waited three days and the research does, you know, it doesn't, you don't lose it for a certain amount of time. I think it's like 15 days or something like that. I don't know if this, uh, it'll apply, you know, if we're already researching tech, I'm not entirely sure how that works. So you know what, let's just wait to get that one, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wait to get that. Uh, we'll just go in and get the improved machine tools first. And besides, that one might be a little bit more useful any damn way. Yeah, because it's not like it's gonna get us a ton of resources. There we go. So, the Japanese have declared war on China, as they always do. And so, they are now at war with somebody. So, if we go to war with anybody, then China would get added into to our faction. I wasn't sure whether I should do that when not aligned or not. Uh, but I think it made sense. Have both not aligned democratic countries all in one faction. All right, so and I was also thinking of China here. Uh, we didn't really want the Chinese to go into the uh, to the communist faction, and I think it makes sense because what's going to happen is this China comes into our faction, and then communist China. Uh, and let me just see who else. So yeah, they would all go in there, and then communist China and Xinjiang would go into the communist faction. And so yeah, you could have like a you'll have a civil war going on here uh, the whole time, uh, which is kind of cool. All right, so let me just see what we want to get next. Again, I kind of want those civilian factories; those would be super helpful. But man, there's two focuses for that uh, to get 12 total civilian factories. That's a lot. Here is where you're gonna get your military factories. Quite a few military factories here, uh, but you have to make a choice here on one of these two. But I feel like we should go for the monarchy compromise so that we can go for the uh, the tax lot because that's the most useful thing to be getting right now. This is going to increase the popularity of dem democracy by 10%. Uh, the Democrats will now be the ruling party. Uh, we'll get the Wilhelm III national spirit, increasing stability by 5%, getting us up to 90% to there. And uh, oh, and we'll get a uh, base national stability of 5%, so that's going to increase it up to 95% as soon as we get that knocked out. All right, awesome. So the civility should be pretty high, at least until we go to war here. And let's take a look and see if any of these units are done training, which they are. Uh, so we're going to put both of these into the Red Army, since the Red Army has the wider front to cover. You'll notice I did remove the, the generals from those armies, because we're, you know, we're going to want to change that up a bit. Uh, so we did get three dockyards here, because we finished up that... Uh, yeah, we finished up building the heavy cruiser that we were working on. Uh, so let's go to get these assigned. We really want to get the cruisers going. Maybe get two to the destroyers. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's see if we need to do anything with resources. Not really. We're all right. Uh, three tungsten shortage is, is fine. Now, I don't think we have any big ships training here. No. So we'll just keep them all training. Uh, well, we do have that battleship. Uh, oh, okay. That was a battleship that finished up. I thought it was a heavy cruiser. All right. So that'll give us another battleship. Excellent. So we'll have three battleships and, and four heavy cruisers now. It's not much, not much of a fleet, but it's something. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the next carrier model, which of course we use in this here to increase the armor and the HP. Uh, and also the, the speed has been increased here as well. That's interesting. Not sure what's uh, increasing the speed, what, what we're, uh, where we're getting that benefit from. Uh, reliability goes down though. Okay, so you have a few things that are modifying this here. Yeah, you see the HP is being increased by plus 25, so it's at 275. Uh, there's no armor on this here, so that doesn't really impact it, the plus 50% armor. Uh, I mainly wanted it for the, the extra HP, and also to just not get the penalty that the other one had. Uh, but the armor would apply to the, the battleships and such. So yeah, let's go to get that next carrier hole, and then we'll... I guess we'll get a carrier building after that. We just don't have a lot of dockyards. 
So we really need to get get some more. Uh, so yeah, everybody's joining that Chinese United Front, but again, it's will be irrelevant once once we go to war, which I expect we'll be at peace for a while, guys. Uh, you know, after the Civil War, it takes a while to to get yourself in a good position. Currently, I'm 42% here. Uh, remember, they'll the Democrats will come into power here as soon as we finish up the Monarchy Compromise. But yeah, it does take a while to recover from a civil war, regardless of who the country is. Alright, so you can see that this is just, uh, got the last faction rising up. Got the Carlos Spain now. Oh, okay, so they're called the Spanish Directory now. Okay. You can see that the, the Republicans are very much winning, and thus it should go the way we want it to go, which is excellent, because I was kind of worried about that. The fascists get in power there, and it kind of messes up the whole situation in Europe. Uh, but yeah, the uh, communists should be in power here, and the, you see they're expanding Soviet aid, as they should be, so everything should go fine in that regard. Uh, so we did get another dock here. We might want to get these assigned now. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So that all future dockyards will already have an assignment. Let's take a look, see what we're building. We're building two more dockyards and getting those two military factories as well. Uh, let me just see how we're looking on the... Uh, we're almost full on the civilian factories. I don't think we're gonna build any more, guys. I think we should have enough here. I think we will work on one synthetic refinery. Just try and like fix this rubber issue here. And then we're gonna want some, some military factories as well. Always need more military factories. All right, so we got the monarchy compromise. Uh, so now the stability is at 92% rather than 95%. And then we already know we wanna get that reverse the brain drain. Get that fifth research slot. That'd be super helpful. And then we'll probably want to start moving towards the next research slot here. And the reason why we went for that one first is because this one takes longer to get. Uh, you had to get, well, you know what? I was thinking you had to get all four of these. You do not. You only need one of them. Uh, so two of them, technically. All right. So, yeah, we could have went that route and then got the next research slot. I was thinking it would take too long. They had two techs. That doesn't take that long at all. All right. So we have election, communist, and government. So you can say rather reform than revolution and we'll get 10% support in uh, communism. Or we can say a broad coalition of democratic parties is preferable, uh, which is the one we're gonna go for. We're gonna lose some stability. Uh, we'll get increase in democratic support, but yeah, we don't want that communist support. I know we can slowly burn it off, but yeah, we'll take a little hit on the stability, it's fine. And we're gonna get in October here, which means we would have made oh, the uh, civil war is over here. And it does look like the fascist one, as we designed them to. Excellent. So that has ended. They now have power. But you can see that they've lost their dominions. Okay, well that's interesting. We'll have to try and seize them back. And they have released Egypt as well, as a collaboration government. Okay. So the fascists win and take over, and the first thing they do is start giving autonomy to countries. Okay, interesting. So the, the Civil War here is still ongoing, but it should be over soon. Uh, they've already knocked out one of the factions. they got two more left here to take out. Uh, we are losing on the fuel, probably because we're, we're training a, a battleship up right now. So that does take a bit of fuel. So I'm not going to trade for it right now. I think it's fine. Uh, as far as our planes, let me just see if there's anything we need to do here. Uh, we can go ahead and start these guys training again. They've gotten uh, a few more planes, reducing their experience. We'll do the same here with these guys. Uh, we'll have to take a look at the stockpile, see if we want to increase those numbers at all. Uh, but we won't do that now, because unfortunately it is going to be the end of the episode. We did make it over a year, uh, 13 months total, so that's good timing, I think, for the, the second episode. Just continue building up for these future conflicts. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.